Good morning from the Animal Kingdom parking lot. I'm here today because today is June 20th, which is the grand reopening of Tusker House. So I've got a lunch reservation booked for one o'clock. So I'm here, it's just after eight o'clock now in the morning. So time to go enjoy the day at Animal Kingdom and then off to Tusker House for lunch. So let's go. Okay, so it is just about time for my lunch reservation. I did go check out uh, Festival of the Lion King, so I'll put a little clip of that right here. Oh, 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 it's the circle of life. 
But yeah, now it's time to check out Tusker House for lunch. So let's go. So fast forwarding a bit, I am back home from my day at Animal Kingdom and my lunch at Tusker House. I am so glad that this restaurant has reopened. It is one of my favorite character restaurants on property and one of the best buffets in my opinion on property. Granted, this isn't a buffet right now, it is served family style, but it was still very, very good. So starting from the top, because it is a character meal, the prices are a little bit higher. So for lunch and dinner for adults, it is $55 per person and $36 per child. It is a bit cheaper for breakfast at $42 per adult and $27 per child, um, but I'll have to do a review of breakfast in the near future. We'll have to go back for that one. Um, but this is a character meal, so we have Donald and Daisy and Mickey and Goofy. So it was very, very cute. They were kind of walking around the restaurant as per usual with the new COVID guidelines. They haven't been stopping at every table, but they were fairly close and um, could easily wave to them and get some good pictures. And then at the end of the meal, you're given a little character signature card um, that is specific to Tusker House in the little safari outfits. And it is signed by the four characters you meet. And it does say on the bottom that it is from Tusker House. So nice little keepsake you get as well from the meal. Overall, though, it was a very, very good meal, starting from the top with the appetizers. First, you start with some bread and salad. So the bread was a poppardom bread, which was more like a cracker, and then some rolls. And these were served with some hummus. Uh, that was red pepper hummus, coriander chutney, and mango chutney. And these three sauces are also on the bread service at Sanaa. So very cool to see it here as well, but very, very good overall. My favorite was the poppardom and the red pepper hummus. For whatever reason, this flavor profile just kind of blended together, and it was... Very, very good. Very, very thin, cracker-like texture for the pepperdam. As for the salad, kind of a basic salad. There were some greens tossed in like a citrus vinaigrette, and then there was also a bowl next to it that had some like tomatoes and onions and cucumbers that were also in the vinaigrette as well. So you can mix them, you can have them separately, but overall very refreshing, very, very good. Nothing too, nothing too much to complain about there. And then moving on to the entrees. The meats that you get are a Moroccan spiced beef, and this is topped with the same coriander chutney as the bread, a Cape Malay green curry shrimp, spit roasted herb chicken, and Berber marinated pork. Now, all of the meats except for the shrimp were in the same container. The shrimp was in a separate little bowl. They were all served over some jasmine rice. The shrimp had some like carrots and snow peas, and then the other meats had some roasted potatoes and green beans and corn and uh, roasted tomatoes. Overall, very, very good, very colorful, which I appreciated that. Flavor-wise, my favorite was the shrimp. I ended up getting seconds of the shrimp because it was so good. If the green curry is concerning to you and it might be like a little too adventurous, I will say that it is a very mild curry. Uh, green curry is on the milder side, more focuses on the lime and cilantro flavors versus like the intense curry flavor as like a yellow curry would have. So definitely recommend trying it if you, if you are interested in shrimp, for sure. Um, as for the sides though, nothing to complain about with the rice and the vegetables. Um, I thought that the potatoes were very, very good, very well seasoned. The rice in the shrimp bowl was much better because it had the curry, in my opinion. It had the curry sauce kind of over the top of it, so that was very, very good. There was also a, a, another bowl that had macaroni and cheese. And now the macaroni and cheese here is probably my favorite mac and cheese on Disney property. It was so good, so cheesy. Um, you could definitely tell it was homemade. And the waiter did say that it was homemade because I, I asked him like, why is this so good? Um, with that being said though, because it was so rich and creamy, it was also very, very filling. So I did not eat much of it. But what I did have was very, very good. And then moving on to desserts. It was a trio of desserts with three dessert options. So the first one was a safari cupcake, which is a kind of a vanilla cupcake with some just vanilla buttercream and then safari Mickey ears on it, of course. And this was very sweet, but also very plain. So I didn't really eat much of this one. In the middle was a tree of life brownie and if you've watched our vlogs before, you know that I am a chocolate person. This was very, very rich and very chocolatey. Almost too rich. 
I ate about half of it and I just I couldn't anymore. It was it was too sweet. Uh, I feel like if you were to share this with somebody, it wouldn't be as bad. Uh, but for one person, it's definitely way too heavy and way too rich. And then lastly, on the far right hand side of our little dessert platter was a honey cake, and this by far was the winner of the three. And I would say that this is most similarly resembling like a tiramisu. So instead of like a honey buttercream, it was more like a honey whipped cream between layers of chocolate cake. Overall, not overly sweet, but just sweet enough and texture-wise very, very good. Very light compared to the other two desserts here. But yeah, so that was my meal. As far as the meats go, I liked the shrimp the best, followed by the beef, and then followed by the pork and the chicken. Um, I didn't really get too much of the chicken because I focused more on the shrimp and the beef to kind of maximize my value. But I did try the chicken and it was very good. It wasn't too dry. Um, and then the pork as well was also very flavorful, not dry at all. Um, but yeah, so overall, no complaints with the food. As far as the character meet and greets go, I thought they were fantastic. Um, comparing it to like say Chef Mickey's, Chef Mickey's is more like a parade around the restaurant. And they did do a parade here. It was a bit confusing at first because I wasn't sure who all was going to be here to see. Um, but it was Donald and Daisy at one time. And they kind of rotated around the restaurant. And then they did a little parade with just the two of them. And then there were no characters for a while. And then out came Mickey and Goofy to meet everybody. And then they did a parade with just the two of them. So it was a bit strange to have just two and two. Um, but overall it was very, they were very attentive and very welcoming to pictures and whatnot, distance of course, but yeah. So overall, I would highly recommend checking this restaurant out if you have not been before. And if you have been before, I would highly recommend going back again because the food has not changed too much. Um, in the past, I would say it was very similar to like say Boma, as far as the buffet goes. With this modified platter menu, it's closer flavor-wise to Sanaa, but it's still very resemblance of the Animal Kingdom Lodge food. So overall, very, very good, very flavorful. If the African spices are kind of intimidating to you, it's not overly spiced. It's just a very mild spice overall, um, nothing too extravagant. But yeah, overall, a great day at Animal Kingdom and a wonderful lunch at Tusker House. So with that being said, we are off. And thank you so much for watching, and we will see you real soon.